say that you believe in your vision and your results don't show it, you might be missing one of these three things. I'm giving you the formula for the power of true self-belief. You know, I get a lot of messages from people all the time that say, Uzziah, I'm serious about my business. You know, I've got a million dollar idea. I've got a dream. I'm passionate. I'm focused. I'm motivated. All I need to do is this. And then everything changes. And so many people are honestly full of crap. I'm just going to give it to you raw, direct, straight in this video. I don't personally get caught up in a lot of people that claim that they're serious about something until I've seen the actual work. Here's the problem though, and this could be the most important video that I could ever share with you. You might be dead serious about believing in your vision, but you don't know the steps to apply to actually bring that belief to life. So here is how to really believe in something so deeply that it goes from out of your brain into the real world. Number one, are you bought in? Are you bought into whatever idea or concept that you claim to be about? The most successful people in the world bought in. Let me tell you what I mean when I'm talking about bought in. I want you to imagine yourself at a poker table, okay? Whenever you've looked at poker players, all of them are using that poker face. All of them are trying to win. And all of them have chips that they're bringing to the table. You are a poker player of life. You have the opportunity to be able to accomplish something great, but the only way that you can win the game is if you bring more chips to the table and you walk away with more chips than the amount of chips that you brought in the first place. In order to do that, you have to buy in. You have to have an idea in your mind that's so powerful that you have to be willing to sacrifice your time, your energy, your effort, all of your BS excuses to get it off the ground. You've got to buy in. You've got to bring all of your chips to the table. When I thought about having this business, it wasn't just about being a business owner to me. I bought into the concept of e-commerce. I've been on computers all my life. I have been loving computers from the time that I was eight years old. I've worked at computer companies in the past because I thought that was my dream until I began to realize that the economy as a whole was making a shift to e-commerce. And being that I already loved computers and loved being on the internet, I'm saying, man, why don't I really make it a calling to go all in on building an online business? I can't just half do it if I want to be successful at it. Let me take a step back for y'all real quick. Let me take myself out of it. How many people do you know in the world today that have ever received money through a digital exchange? I'm talking PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, whatever the case may be, right? Millions of people all over the world have utilized these services. So they understand that there is power in money being exchanged online. You know what their problem is? Most of them, they haven't bought in at the highest levels. See, they're willing to exchange $200, $50, $100 online or whatever their currency is, but them making a complete financial overhaul of transacting money online, that's something totally different. If you wanna be successful in anything, you can't just casually do it. 
See, the millions of people that are making just a little bit of money online, but not enough to write home about. Not enough to quit their nine to five job. They haven't bought in. If you want to accomplish something great, you've got to buy in. Who do you think was the people that struck it rich during the gold rush? Who do you think are the people that have brought any major innovations to the world today? These are people that went totally in to the concept that they believe could make them successful. You can't just half do it. A lot of people have average investments into things, and that's the reason why they get average results. To take this a step further, the best way that I can illustrate this is kind of looking in the spiritual realm of things. You know, when Jesus Christ was on the earth, this is the most famous name in the history of civilization, <laughs> right? When Jesus Christ was on the earth, he had 12 disciples. And when he spoke to these disciples about following him in their spiritual journey, he told them, that if they were not willing to give up everything and deny themselves also, they could not be his disciple. What was Christ telling the disciples? Buy into it. If you are serious about your spiritual life, don't just half do it. Don't just be lukewarm. Don't just be sometimey. Buy in. Put some skin in the game. And a lot of people can understand that when it comes to one facet of life, but not see the parallels at every other turn. If you want to be successful in business, you've got to buy in. Okay? So maybe there's something that you can do over the next 12 months to take your belief to the next level. For me, I had to quit my job. I had to totally make an exodus out of my old way of doing things so that way I could put the right time, the right money, the right energy, the right effort into getting my vision off the ground. I could not half do it. I have sacrificed a hundred plus thousand dollars in debt invested into my business. I've put in the sleepless nights. I've put in long hours because I have bought in. When it comes to your vision, your dream, your concept, your future, have you bought in? Or are you that person that's just still kind of that play play person? $20 on PayPal, $50 on PayPal. Okay, that's good enough for me. Average behavior leads to average results. Average investment, average life. And most people in this world today are only willing to buy in at an average level. That's why they don't really have a seat at the table, okay? Here's the next thing. I want you to really understand this. Your belief about your vision, if it's going to be successful, is going to go down this three-step cycle. Learn, seed, wait. Learn, seed, wait. If you're going to be successful at anything that you are passionate about in your life, you've got to learn. And you got to learn so much more than the average person in order to really take your vision to the next level. Bill Gates didn't just learn a little bit about computers. He bought in. Henry Ford didn't just learn a little bit about automobiles. Do you notice that? There's so many people on the earth that know how to be able to change a flat tire, that know how to put oil in a car, that understand the basics of mechanics and car maintenance. But my oh my, most of those people have never ever made real money having to do anything that deals with cars. Were they bought in or was it superficial? Whatever your vision is, you got to learn the hell out of it. What they would call this 
um, in a professional space is domain expertise. You need deep domain expertise and knowledge of whatever it is that you're trying to hone your craft at. I see so many entrepreneurs, people that claim that they wanna be business owners, but they're never willing to learn. They never pick up a book. They never find mentors to gather new bits of data from about how they did it in their business. They're just looking within based upon the knowledge that they already know. But you cannot like, you can't name any person that's achieved world-class success that wasn't willing to learn more about that craft than 99% of the people on the planet. Do you think that Michael Jordan knows the same level of knowledge about basketball than the average person that just watches it on television? Absolutely not. Michael Jordan has learned more about that industry than 99% of people in the world, guaranteed. Again, Bill Gates, does he just want average level learning about computers? Yeah, he might have certain natural gifts and tendencies that lends itself to that area, but he didn't just settle there. He went all in, he bought in. And whatever it is that you're doing, so much of your success is going to come from your learning. And the only people that accomplish massive success are lifelong learners. Every day, are you learning something about your craft? Are you learning something new about the industry that you're in as a whole? Are you learning the business side of things? Are you learning about the shifts and the trends that are happening in the marketplace? Because if you're not learning all of these things, how are you ever gonna get better? When things shift, look at how many businesses in the world today are bankrupt that were at one point in time billion dollar corporations, all because of the fact that somebody stopped learning or didn't buy in once they saw the signs. Toys R Us could have been the number one leading toy manufacturer of online distribution. Why weren't they? They didn't buy in. Blockbuster could have been the number one media outlet that could have distributed content online. Why didn't they? They didn't buy in. So it's not enough that you should just learn. You gotta buy into what you're learning. <laughs> you gotta take all of these things hand in hand. Number two, after you have learned, Right? And again, this is a nonstop process. This cycle continues all throughout your life. It's not just a one-time deal. You've got to be willing to plant the seeds of success daily. You've got to be willing to put in the hours without any immediate expectations of uh, success in return. Plant the seeds. When you plant a seed in life, do you expect that seed to turn into a tree overnight? Absolutely not. And there's so much that goes into just putting that seed in the ground. You got to till the soil, right? You got to water it. It's got to get sunlight. You've got to make sure that you're digging the weeds out of the ground and so many different things that goes into the process of really cultivating and nurturing that seed for it to ever grow into something powerful. If you have a vision and you claim to believe in it, but you're not planting the seeds, you don't really believe. Or at least I'm not gonna take you seriously. If you just want me to take you seriously based upon your words, I'm not going anywhere with that, okay? Neither is life. Everybody in life got a dream. I hope you know that everybody in life wants to be successful. But what separates the people that actually are from the people that just talk about it? Learning, seeding, buying in, going through this process. Okay, here's what seeding looks like. Okay, you learn something that you're supposed to do in your business. You go off and you execute. You don't just store the information in your mind and become an information junkie you apply what you've learned. You do it on a consistent 
day-to-day -day basis until an end result is achieved. And you are willing to work at this from year to year to year to year without immediate expectations of a return. This is the truth, man. <laughs> I, a lot of people are not built for business. A lot of people, they don't have the mental fortitude to get over the hump. But if this is you, this is the steps. The third thing, once the seed has been planted, you've got to wait for it. Okay, a lot of you guys, you watch my videos right now and you're like, man, with the information that this brother is dropping, you know, millions of people should be looking at these videos. It should be shared and people should be talking about it and commenting about it. Listen, that's okay. I know that it's going to come because I believe in my vision enough to plant the seeds. All I have to do once the seed has been planted is wait for it, go back to learning new things, plant more seeds, and then wait. Notice how I don't put on this chart, reaping the harvest. That's one of the biggest detriments that you may have right now, and that's what's stopping you from really becoming successful. See, a lot of the most successful people in the world they look at all of the benefits that comes to their life as an added bonus of something that they would have pursued anyway. Steve Jobs would have been in technology anyway. Bill Gates would have been in technology anyway. When you look at people who are really driven and really motivated, really passionate to get something great done, they're not just doing it for the dollar. To hell with the dollar. A dollar is only a reflection of the value that's been produced in the world. But that has nothing to do with your own curiosity, your own natural strengths, and how you felt a calling to pursue that day by day. So I'm deliberately taking out the reaping of the harvest right here because for a lot of you, that's the only thing that you want in the first place. And that's the reason why you don't buy in. That's the reason why you don't learn. That's the reason why you don't plant seeds. And that's the reason why you can't wait. Because you want to cut out the entire process with expectations of getting rich overnight. You're so much more focused on the event of success that you do not at all invest in the process. You must invest in the process. You have to begin to love the journey of it more than the actual result. You've got to love it. You've got to start to develop a focus on these things. And guess what? Whenever the success happens, it happens. You can't control that in life. The only thing that you can control is, did I buy in? Did I learn as much as a human being could possibly be learning something about this subject? Did I make myself unstumpable about everything that I need to know about in my business? And did I wake up and plant seeds every day? See that these are all variables that you can control. And that's a blessing because if success was just a random choice of somebody just wakes up one day and becomes a millionaire, boy, wouldn't that be a tragedy for the person that works every single day and doesn't see anything. See, the more you put yourself at this cycle, the better of a chance you get at reaching success. You could attribute uh, other people's success to luck all day, but guess what? You have to work hard to get lucky. The harder you work, the luckier you get, right? So who's more bound to be more lucky going through this cycle? The person that goes through it one time, learns one thing, plants one seed, and then just sits on their behind waiting for success to follow them, or the person who's gone through this cycle thousands of times and they just hit it big once. See, that's how you got to look at this thing. You've got to be so driven by your passion and your pursuit, you treat life itself like you're at a slot machine. 
See, you don't have to hit the jackpot every time you put a quarter in. But if you bring enough coins to that machine and you buy in and with the faith that something is coming from it, you know the money is there. You know the success is there. Guess what? It doesn't matter if you put the coin in one time, a thousand times, or a million times. If you really believe in your vision, you will sit at that slot machine until the coins come out. All right? And there's no better gamble <laughs> to have than to gamble on your own success by putting in the effort. Not even talking about Vegas and real life gambling. I'm talking about just looking at your own personal success as such, okay? So the cycle doesn't stop. And the more that you can begin to come one with everything that I said in this message, the faster you will be successful. Mark my words. The more that you reject, you gainsay, you troll the concepts of what I'm talking about here. You know how people will do that? They'll try to find one little tiny thing that they can pick apart and be like, oh no, it shouldn't look like that. It should look like this. As if that throws off the entire message I've been talking about for the past 20 minutes. It doesn't throw off anything. The more that you try to resist all of what I just said over these past 20 minutes, the more you're going to prolong your own success the more miserable you're going to make your own existence because the only thing that you can do to get success is to embrace the pain, embrace the challenges, plant the seeds, and then you'll reap the harvest, okay? So if you want to know more about how to transition successfully out of your nine-to-five job into having your own full-time business, if you've bought in, to the idea that you deserve to have your own freedom and your own independence, then I want you to click the link below. I want you to tap up because I'm going to show you the steps on how to be able to make that transition successfully. See, if you bought in, you're going to click the link because it's free. So you have nothing to lose. But if you haven't bought in and, oh, well, you know, I kind of want to be successful, so I'll kind of watch the video, but I won't take action. I'll just hope that by me hearing it somehow that will magically put money into my bank account. If you haven't really bought in, then you're not going to click the link. I'm challenging you right now to cut the crap and buy in. Take one step to learn what you need to do to have a better life. And then I'm going to encourage you to go out and plant the seeds and wait until success happens. All right, guys, make sure that you take this video seriously. Watch it over and over and over again until it starts to create change in your life. I love you. That's why I'm doing these videos. There's a million other different things I could have been doing right now with my time. But I love you enough to show you the things that so many of us have never been taught in our lives. That's the reason why we have dreams inside of us that dies. Watch this video until you get it down. All right? Go to the link, get started, and buy in. I'll see you soon.